what trends it's hard to spot trends because the funny thing is you can always look for devices that do more for people or let them have more little more power than before ah oh, this will be a helpful a helpful addition a service or a device or whatever but that doesn't mean that it sells funny thing is you know it has to grab some popular opinion once you get popular opinion swaying a certain way it you should jump in very early with heavy marketing and get your name attached to that that move that way of thinking Aspiring entrepreneurs, don't think only from the business point of view and the marketing point of view. Try to include the engineers, the builders who will build your products and services. Try to include them in the thinking out about what your product should be because they are very instrumental and very important. Uh, you can start a company like Apple with a great product that is so far ahead of the rest. And that's the time you can really grab recognition. Well, I'm still at Apple's small term. I've, I'm the only person who's been on the payroll computer every week since we started the company to this day, small salary. Um, and I would, I would urge them to uh, consider a lot more openness and working with other companies that they consider competitors um, where, where it makes sense. Um, I don't know that they don't, they don't do that very well either. Uh, Apple is so huge that um, it's hard to say, oh, they make a mistake, they're going to stumble, they're going to fall way back because they can always buy their way out of a lot of mistakes. You get a lot of retries when you have a great amount of like cash that, savings. I'm thinking of openness in terms of like an open platform that a lot of other people can come and add on to, modify, change, make their way, um, let them have special licensed versions of the the, um, the firmware at, at low cost, that sort of thing. Or if Apple has a great service, we, we came out with iTunes and we changed the way that music was marketed forever. It was a great product, a service, and the reason that our company finally grew for the first time in history to twice the size, we wrote iTunes for Windows users. We let everyone in the world buy an iPod and use it in the easy way, but we never wrote iTunes for Android. So I'm thinking we should have said, we have a great service, we can sell more songs to all the Android users, and we held off, we fought it, we did it more in competition than in cooperation. And there's a term, um, cooperation, <laughs> cooperation or something. It's, it's a combination of the two words that could be taken into account. Um, I usually follow tech from a personal in, um, point of view, like I'm a victim of Apple for the last 30 years. In other words, I have easy to use products and I try to look for the newest features and the newest sensors. Sensors all came into play. We've got so many sensors, so small. Um, I like products that let me live a lot of my life a little more fully. And certainly with, you know, um, uh, like, Apple doesn't build in infrared and I wish they would and things like that, but I'll buy a new product and say, oh, I can hold my hand up and it starts a timer for a selfie or uh, things like that. I like those little things. They aren't, they don't sell the products. They don't build your brand so much, but they do. They're fun. They're nice. You know, sometimes the best features are ones that don't have any monetary value. That's how a lot of us think of when we're developing. I want to do neat things that are fun and show off to other people and they wind up have, maybe having value, but they don't have to, to, to advance you. Well, but you talked about game changers yeah. too. And there we're getting into more like technology, serious technologies like virtual reality. And everybody's wondering, is it gonna hang, take a long, long time to come about? Is it gonna hang on like 3D television and then go away? Is it going to, um, is it gonna make it big because of gamers? So that's worth watching. Augmented reality is coming. And Tim Cook of Apple says augmented reality can do even more. It's gonna be more of a game changer. Uh, Self-driving cars are the biggest thing of all, but even even just going to electric cars is just a wonderful change in the world and for some of us who believe more in electricity than in uh, powerful uh, chemicals and, and mechanical things that move and parts that move and wear down. So I'm glad to see that happening. I'm glad Teslas are here in Great Britain and I'm glad to see that, you know what, the funny thing is, people say, what does it take to make an electric car? And it's really, don't change your lifestyle. You can live the same lifestyle and not give it up. People will say, I like electricity. I like um, I like um, a good, good range. I like driving around town and not using any energy, but people don't want to give up their road trips. 
So Tesla was the first one that installed the equivalent of gas stations, supercharger networks, high-speed chargers, so that you can actually take road trips and live the same life you lived before. And that's a very important consideration sometimes in developing a new brand is to figure out that you've got to supply the complete formula and that word no sacrifice is the way to think. All right, thank you. Oh, sure. Okay.